Hello everybody, this is Zaxter99. Today I'm going to be going ahead and taking a quick look at solar system conflict. I've jumped in for just a few minutes to go ahead and check out the options and stuff like that. Really haven't played this game at all yet. I did just go ahead and purchase it. It came out yesterday on Steam. Today is the 7th. And already there's 7 reviews. Now this is a combination crafting survival uh, game where I guess you can build a spaceship and go out and mine meteors or something and go out into space and explore other worlds or something. I don't know. Uh, but it's another survival game and this is one of the genres that I like. Now, when I first saw this and I watched the video, I gotta say every instinct inside of me, every instinct of experience with these early access games told me to stay far, far away from this game. But, because it's had so few reviews and I can't find a video for it, uh, none of these reviews actually have a video link or anything like that. Uh, I went ahead and decided to go ahead and buy it and give you guys a review on this game at this point. Now, my hunches tell me that the game is not going to be good. Even though it has six positives, uh, reviews out of seven right now, and people say it, the landscape looks beautiful, uh, it seems you can build everything in this game. Right now you can defend yourself against animals and walk around. The developer did a great job. I have a feeling that review is sarcastic, but 94% of the people are saying this review uh, was helpful to them. Uh, Minecraft 3D with space travel and exploration is what somebody else says. And then somebody else says it's not ready. I did read the review. Game has a lot of potential. A lot of potential uh, is what other positive reviews are saying. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and check out uh, this game right now. On the channel, Solar System Conflict, $19.99 US dollars is the regular price. Uh, it does have a 20% discount its first week, knocking it down to $15.99. So we're going to find out if this game is any good, or if this is another one of those games that gets me raging right after this. Alright, welcome back everybody. Zaxter99, again we're going to go ahead and check out Solar System Conflict. Find out what it's about. I kind of like this uh, title screen here. It looks like you see a sun circling your world or something like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, not bad. I kind of like how the light is shown on the surface of the, uh, the world there. But let's go ahead and check out the settings here real quick. And you got a graphic settings. Uh, current resolution 1920 by 1080 ultra and then you have an audio volume this is what I changed when I first uh, checked it out but that is it uh, not real impressed there no graphics options or anything like that remember this game's in early access but I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a review so we're gonna go ahead and go to search a server and we will go ahead and go to official server one. Now, what is this? One player on each server? I don't believe that. I believe that there are zero players on each server. I bet you that nobody is playing this game. We're going to go ahead and jump in. And this is the first time I've played this game. I haven't even touched this game uh, at this point. So you guys are going to be seeing this game right alongside with me. Our first steps into this new virtual sandbox survival world loading player data all right are we laying down like in rust or okay it started light and now it's dark all right i like not being able to see anything okay we're by maybe this is like rust where you start by a beach i'm sure it's a random spot in the world every time you die whoa Okay, that is water. I thought that was like space at first because it's all the stars, but that is definitely water. Can we swim? Okay, you can swim. It's good. At least we didn't have our death screen. Uh, how do I get out of here? There's no air bar or anything like that, so I'm not taking damage or running out of oxygen. That might be something that's added later. All right, let's take a look here. Escape. 
tab inventory C is crafting menu shift is run pretty much stuff reload if we had a gun enters chat so no voice chat at this point that is huge for these kind of games I mean if you do come across another player it's good they, you know nice to be able to voice with them rather than have to type stuff in I mean if you type stuff in is everybody on the server gonna hear what you're saying uh, whereas voice chat you know you could talk just in a general vicinity uh, and you know only players around there would be able to hear you uh, space jump L is flashlight left mouse right mouse right mouse is rotate I assume that's building E is use show waypoint marker mouse wheel is razor lower again that's building I'm sure uh, G ground plates okay so escape gets back out of that well, I wish it was light maybe it'll get light here in a minute okay so L there's our flashlight ew this grass and terrain looks pretty freaking bad I don't know don't know what engine this game is made in but this is not impressive guys I mean you can look at those textures uh, in this game right now and this is something that's an engine decision I mean the graphics in this game are probably not gonna get any or much better uh, I could be wrong about that, but usually, what is hitting me? What is hitting me? I just took hits. What the hell is hitting me? You can look at my health on the bottom left and see that something was damaging me. What the hell was damaging me? The tree? It's a big ass rock. See, even that rock looks like crap. <sighs> uh. You know, and, and some people may say, you know, Zaxter99, you can't review a game that's in early access, that's not complete yet. The freaking plant looks like a monster the way it's shimmering in the wind there. Uh, but, you know, people say you can't review a game that's in early access, and I say the hell you can. If they're going to charge us $20 for a game, you know, you damn well right, I'm going to be able to review it. If they want to charge money for it, uh, it gets my review. Uh, on its current state because I want people to know what they're getting for their money. So, all right, what do we have here? The hell is that? Looks like a blade of some sort, and then we have a hatchet. Okay. Oh, this is pathetic. You're telling me I'm getting wood now? Really? Let's take a look. I'm not even getting any wood. Inventory. Password for your belongings. No item. I don't have any items. Well, how the hell do I get wood then? One. That's not working. Maybe this tree? Maybe that tree was bugged? What the hell? I got my target right on the tree. Look at that swing. That is pathetic. Developer, fix your crap. This looks ridiculous. The, look at these strokes. Come on. If I was to if I was to jack off, I'd have bigger strokes than that. This is pathetic. I'm already starting to get mad. I can't get wood. I have a little bitty penis stroke here on swinging a hatchet. Look at that jump. Look at these flowers for Christ's sake. 1999, really? Stretch up the terrain and that's a mountain. How detailed can you get? This is pathetic. It's getting light now, but this world is absolutely atrocious. This is hideous. And I mean, I saw it in the preview video, but I thought that the gameplay might be a little bit better than this. What the hell is this? A burnt tree? What the hell is that? Oil. A, a tree trunk of oil, huh? Okay. And why, does, why do I keep having to hit one when I just had my hatchet? I hit inventory and somehow I lose my hatchet. I didn't select anything in my inventory, but my hatchet goes away. And I have to re-hit the one key. There's something else for you to fix, Mr. Developer. You want to make a rust-type clone, but you want to sell us crap and make money off the success of other survival games like Rust, Daisy, uh, Seven Days to Die, and most recently Reign of Kings. Those games are all worth your money, people. Those games are all 
about 100 times better than what I'm seeing in this game so far. If you would call this game. Again, at this point, I would call this an experimental learning process on how to make a character run in a world. Something you do to learn how to make this kind of stuff. You don't go out and sell this crap. I have stone and I have iron ore. Okay. I mean, this game could be good at some point, but why do they sell these games this early in access? And what in the hell is that? What? I that looks like... Ugh. Come on. Really? This is one of your mobs? What the hell is that supposed to be? A freaking piece of crap with a tail and ears? Let's kill the cute little piece of poop. Piece of shit. Oh, let me put the freaking cursor on him so it hits, even though it don't even look like it. Okay. Are you gonna die? How do I kill the piece of shit? Quit looking at me, you piece of shit. This is... Oh, there we go. That was, that was amazing. Meat times one. E. Well, at least you can get the meat. You need to cook it. Okay. Guys, and this guy, this game might be decent at some point. You know, but right now, when I play this game and I'm already infuriated within five minutes of playing it, that's not a good sign. And like I say, my instincts told me to stay far, far away from this one. But the fact that nobody else was putting up a video uh, for this game and everybody else was giving it positive reviews, people... Let me tell you something. When you review a game on Steam, you don't review its potential. Well, this game could be good. <laughs> no, you review the game on the way it is when you freaking play the game. You don't review it on what it might be, on what it could be, or what it possibly could become in five years. No, you rate it based on your experience with the goddamn game when you play it. <laughs> it could be good. I see potential. I play it five minutes and quit and write a positive review. I play it five minutes because it's such an utter piece of crap and boring as hell and there's nothing to do, but I see potential. Two thumbs up. What in the hell is wrong with you people? I get so sick of these people on Steam giving games like this a positive review. Pyramid Entrance. Great. Perfect. This shit is just making me mad. Shadows are pretty cool. Look at my shadow. It looks like crap. I mean, this game could be good, but why release it this damn early and charge people $19.99 for this? That See, so this is what I mean. Come on! Look at my swing. Look at that freaking monster for crying out loud. And these guys are going to charge you 20 bucks to get in to play this. This isn't fun. I'm stuck now. This is just crap. Hey, at least you're not blinking. What are you doing to the wall there? Come on. This is such shit. Look at this combat, people. You want to know what you're getting if you buy this game right now on April the 7th, 2015? Did you see that combat? Did you look at this? What in the hell? Where is your freaking loot bag, you piece of crap? What the hell is this crap? Come on! Hi, what's your name? Look at this combat, people. Is he even hitting me? Is he even trying to hit me? Now, five minutes later, he'll freaking drop. This is absolutely utter crap. This isn't fun. This is infuriating. This is one of the biggest wastes of money out on Steam right now at this point. I mean, you get other players playing. Do you think it's going to be any better? 
you think the player versus player combat is being any be going to be any better looking at that? I sure as hell don't. <sighs> Freaking hell. Can I pick up this log? Hell no. Can I walk up it? You have to make up your own games and shit like this to have fun. There we go. What a fun game that was. Yeah, and let's just build the same building here and copy and paste it 15 times all over this area. You're going to have to get a little more... Uh, spend a little more time with your world than this, whoever the developer is. Because nobody wants to see the same copy and pasted building over and over and over again. Oh, more, more oil. No, at least they make it look smaller and smaller as you, uh, as you do it. Now, what the hell am I getting here? I have 34 iron ore, I think. Yeah. And 40 stone. So let's see what I get. It just says resource. It doesn't even tell you what it is. So I'm getting, this is stone. Again, I got to put my freaking hatchet back on. Sounds are total crap. That sounds nothing like what that should sound like. You seriously going to use the sound of you dropping a paper clip on your stone floor or your wooden floor and use that as a sound of hitting a rock with a hatchet? Come on, developer. And then you're going to charge people freaking 20 bucks for this crap? You really... To the developer and anybody else watching, I want you to comment below. Whoever's watching this, comment below... Do you think this game looks like it should be this price to the same price as games like Rust, Seven Days to Die, and Reign of Kings? Because this game is priced at $19.99 regular price. That is the same price as you can go out and buy Rust for, people. A game that looks about 50 times better, works infinitely better, actually has players playing on it. And, uh, you know, go look, at, go look at my videos of Rust. I have many videos on Rust, uh, especially Rust 2.0 where they're redeveloping it. To compare this, the mountains, the textures, the grass, the everything, with uh, Rust, it's no comparison. So here we go. You have to find fallen logs to actually get wood. I see. Because the developer doesn't actually want to make uh, a falling tree effect. You have to come find these resources in the world. So just absolute laziness by the developer here. Absolute pathetic laziness. Well, let's just throw fallen trees in the world rather than actually making it a fallen tree uh, script. Well, what can we build here? Seed, a craft. Uh, can I make... What do I need? Need iron ingots, of course. And can I make a wooden door? Need wood, 50 out of 150. I do have enough wood, but this is a wood ground plate or a foundation, rather. Need time 20. And then I guess this is a ceiling. Wood plate, it calls it. What's this? A stone. So we could build us a stone house. Uh, furnace, there we go, that's what we need. You need 50 oil and 50 stone. Well, nobody's here, you can make a bed too, you need just 150 wood. Okay. You will always spawn at your last placed bed. Well, before we can build us a house, we either need to get a hell of a lot more stone to build a stone house, or we need more wood so and it's gonna get night again so I'm looking for stone and I am looking for wood so we will be right back as soon as we find these resources and go around and uh, gather some more crap and see if we can build something in this game so I'll be back here in just a bit seems like I'm forgetting about a couple
Hi guys, welcome back. I'm still looking for resources, but I mean, I walked up a mountain and look at this. This is so novice. This is a map. This is absolute, utter crap. They got this world, and I assume this is the world they're going to keep. This is absolute BS. All he did is take this mountain and raised it up. He doesn't put trails or patches of grass or flatten the terrain or anything. He just freaking uses his goddamn uh, world generator to randomly pull this crap up. And this is what you got. Does this look like a good world to explore, people? Does this look like something that you want to buy and explore? Is this something that you want to pay $19.99 for? This is such crap. And I mean, being able to walk, look at how steep this cliff is, and I can walk sideways on it. This is stuff that absolutely infuriates me. There is no reason for a map made out this bad. I mean, what did the guy spend? Freaking 15 minutes making this world? This is absolute bullcrap. Horrid, horrid, horrid world generation here. This might be the worst. 3D world I have ever seen in any game. Well, it's early access, Zaxter99. Yeah, it's early access, and I paid freaking $19.99 for this minus a discount. Early access, all you want when you're paying retail price, when I'm paying the same price for this game as you would pay for Rust or Seven Days to Die or 10 other games like this that are 100 times better, hell yeah, I have the right to bitch about it. This game is utter crap. And I don't see this game going very far in the near future. The developer has put out a couple of updates, but no updates like anything that we need yet. This is what you're going to get, people. This is the textures you're going to get for $19.99 for this game, unless it's on sale, which it wouldn't surprise me to see this game on sale for like $1.99 in the very near future. And you people that keep giving games like this positive reviews on Steam, knock it off! Absolutely pathetic that you anybody has the gall to go and give a game like this a positive review. Why? Every aspect of this game so far is absolute, utter shit. The animations are crap. The sounds are crap. The graphics are absolute crap. The map generation is shit. The water looks like shit. The combat is utter shit. The resource gathering is shit. They can't even let you harvest a standing tree. That like that makes sense. If I had a hatchet, I couldn't freaking hack wood from a tree. Like every other game like this. No, I have to search the world for the one or two fallen freaking trees. Absolute garbage. And they want to charge full price for this game. <sighs> Whoever the developer is, they are just trying to make money on the success of all the survival games out there. I mean, so what? You can build a spaceship eventually and go out and see other asteroids. The asteroids are going to look, guess what? They're going to use this same goddamn texture right here. Wow, you can walk around on a big ball of shit just like this. Shit rock up in space with stars that look like that. Yeah, they're going to do a whole lot of great work on that. That's going to be fun. Let's build a spaceship so we can come to one of these just blown up 80 times bigger than this. I guarantee the developer at this point, seeing how lazy he is, he will take this same freaking rock here, make this the asteroid you land on. He'll just expand the size of this by 10. He'll spend a whole 10 minutes making a freaking planet to land on, and it'll look like this only 80 times worse because he's just going to stretch out these already shitty looking textures. That's exactly what the developer is going to do, and he's going to call that a great new survival game. This one has the twist that you can explore asteroids or explore space. Give me a freaking break. But like I was saying, the combat is crap. I was getting killed by something invisible. The mobs are crap. They're glitching in and out. Uh, everything about... There is no... There is no redeeming quality about this game yet. We saw the little poop monster. We saw the monsters in the crypt. And I saw some kind of a stupid looking alligator type thing here a few minutes ago that I passed. Which I'm smart enough not to attack because it's freaking bigger than me. 
and I'm sure it would just kill me. But, you know, this is just absolute, there's no excuse in the world to be charging money for garbage like this. You want to charge money for it, finish the game a little more, don't be charging money for crap in this state. And you people that are buying this game and going back to Steam and giving it a positive review, why? Why? Because you can get a because you can gather a resource? What point is there you see potential? Well, I can see potential. If I take a crap in my toilet, I can look down there at the uh, crap in the toilet and I can say, "Well, if this crap was actually taken out and mixed with other chemicals and made into clay and then formed by a great artist into the, you know, a great uh, piece of art, I can see the potential in my shit in the toilet. Yeah, potentially my shit in the toilet could be made into some great, uh, you know, piece of art in a museum somewhere. But it's not going to be. It's going to be shit that's flushed down the toilet, which is exactly what you should do with this game. And you damn sure shouldn't be charging money for this game or paying for this kind of game. <sighs> Absolute garbage. This is the games that piss me off. Look at this! Look at this! Look at that! Come on! Look at his animations! I want to go barf. I seriously want to go throw up. This is absolutely pathetic. This game... Let me tell you people right now. People, you guys that say you don't want to hear a review about crap like this. This game is absolutely the worst game on Steam of 2015. Now... By contrast, I reviewed another early access game that is almost 100% complete. It's com completely playable, fun as hell, completely different style of game, but I just gave it the best game of 2015 so far, and that was Zinzi Zinzak. Uh, you can see that on my review on my uh, webpage, and it just came out, and it's 8 bucks. It's less than half the price of this game. All right, everybody, so we, it's daylight now. I've went ahead and crafted a foundation, some walls, a wood door frame, and a door I only have five wood left. Uh, notice the door does take a lot longer to make than like doors, for example, which take 10 seconds. The door takes two minutes to make. So we're done crafting all this stuff. Let's see if we can at least find one redeeming quality in this game. And maybe that's being able to build a house. So let's go ahead and drag our stuff. Well, come on. Don't tell me I can't drag this stuff down to my hot bar to use it. What? There we go. It's just not working. It's buggy. It's crap. There we go. Oh, okay, you just got to click it once. You don't drag it by holding the mouse button down. You actually just pick it up once with the mouse button and then bring it down and then click it again. I mean, any other game like this, you can, you know, drag and drop, but not this game. All right, so let's go three. Let's see how well this, this uh, house building stuff works. Well, I think that's about as good as we're going to get. It's going to be covered in grass. Is there anywhere else I can put this? Oh, we got a second player joined. iGamer, iGamer joined. All right. Well, let's just go here. There we go. All right. Looks like we're going to have grass in our house. Like it's going to matter because... I'm okay, four. Here's our wall. There we go. Click. Okay, so you kind of hear a snap when it comes in. Snap. We'll put this wall over here. Well, at least the crafting, the crafting houses seems to work pretty good. So I'll give it that. I didn't have enough wood to make a ceiling. But at least I can make a door. There we go. So let's see how, if we can lock it or what. E, E opens the door. Can I go inside? Yes, I can. E closes it. Now, how do I... Is there a way to lock it? Hmm. Hold E, usually. That's what you do in Rust, anyway. Escape. <laughs> and see, here I am in my house, and I'm taking damage again from nothing. I just took damage. I, I saw a bloody screen and I took damage while standing in my house and there's nothing here. You know, this is this is why I say this game is garbage. 
This is the only redeeming thing here that I found is that you can actually at least build yourself a house. But there we go taking damage again. I'm getting killed in my own house. This game is absolute crap. This game isn't worth $2 in its current state. The developers of this game are absolutely greedy, obnoxious, uh, novice bastards. Uh, charging you, charging us for a game like this. There's no excuse in the world for it. And even worse is there's people actually giving this game a positive review on Steam. Making people think that if they buy this game, they're getting something good. So I think I've demonstrated to you people in this video exactly what you're getting for your money. A $19.99 regular price on sale its first week, $15.99. But Zaxter99, my opinion is, this game isn't worth 99 cents. It's not fun to play. Everything about it is a mess. It's hideous looking. The graphics are a joke. If you want to play a good game, you're looking for a survival game, go look at Rust would be my top choice. You want another game? Go out and play Seven Days to Die. Another good game, good survival game. Uh, 50 times better than this. Or go play the recently launched Reign of Kings. Uh, infinitely better than this game. So this game is utter crap. My worst game of 2015 uh, at this point. If you're watching this video a month, two months down the line, yes, this game might be somewhat improved, but chances are likely it's still <laughs> improved garbage. So, uh, Solar System Conflict, or whatever the hell the name of this game is called, is absolutely utter shit, people. Save your money. Go put it into something better. Look at my other reviews uh, on my YouTube page for games that I like, and I like a lot of them. I actually calculated only about 15% of the games, <laughs> probably less than 15% of the games that I buy on Steam, uh, do I give it a thumbs down and a negative review? And this is definitely one of them. So there's a lot of games out there, a lot better than this for your money, people. This has been Zaxter99. Be sure you comment below. Let me know if this video has helped you out, maybe saved you some money. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And be sure you give this video a thumbs up if this has helped you. Remember, you don't give a video a thumbs down just because the game looks like crap. I'm just the reviewer. I'm doing the best I can with what I got. So you give a game a thumbs up if the video helped you, if you thought it was funny, you know, if you like the video, not based on the content of the game that I'm actually playing. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been Zaxter99. Take care. <laughs> what a perfect ending to this video. Absolutely stellar. This is only nineteen ninety nine, people. <laughs> 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 <laughs>